Hey, welcome again to the continuation of the freestyle farm painting at the Genesis Principal Fine Art. Um, I came across a couple of wild horses in eastern Ontario today and I thought, well not today, a few days ago, and I thought I'd include that in the video. Sometimes you're not able to get out there and see nature in its true form. It's always nice to include a few, a few video clips of nature in there so some persons who may not have access to that or may never see this sort of thing could see that so before I get into the video that before I get into the painting that's gonna run for a few seconds and then we'll get into the painting thanks again for joining me and I'll see you in a few minutes <laughs> there you go <laughs> Okay, all I'm doing here is just kind of cleaning off the painting a little bit before I get going on the main. Uh, usually a lot of dust, lint, all that sort of thing is drawn, drawn to my work or to any artist's work for that matter because of static electricity. So typically, I, not typically, but sometimes I like to just remove some of the dust. Even if I don't see anything, I still try to remove a little bit of dust. Just wipe my, drag my brush across the painting just to be certain. Okay, so now I'm pretty much ready to go on making some corrections with the mane, the mane of the horse. Making sure that I capture moment, uh, the feeling of the time, the day when I took the pictures, and obviously the horse has to look like the horse, so uh, a level of likeness has to be captured, that is obvious, because the owner of the horse will, uh, even if it wasn't, well, the persons who own the animal would like their animals to look like, their, a picture of the animal to look like the actual animal, so. It only makes sense that I do that. So with that said, I'm gonna get going on mixing up some of some some color for the mane, a little bit of dark tone that represents the the, uh, the mane, the hairs on the mane. A lot of artists don't like to use black. I defy all of that. I use black. I paint with black. I think you can customize the black color to make it, or the black hue to make it whatever you want it to be, so I use it. And I make it work the way I would like it to work. So I don't follow uh, particular traditions of painting. I believe that we can bring things to the table that's never been at the table don't necessarily have to follow everything that people did in the past. If you do that, then your contribution becomes less and you become more of a person who copies. Certainly there are principles that you can't work around. You have to use, I get that. But originality is really where it's at for me. <laughs> 